Hey there, it's Chef Paul again, and we're back in the kitchen. We're going to make a really fun uh, dish for you with my good friend, the cauliflower. Now, as a kid growing up, my mom used to just boil the cauliflower, not even steam it, just boil it. And by the time it came out of the pan, it was mushy and probably had no nutritional value in it at all because all of the nutrition had gone out into the water, which got pitched out. If you boil or you do anything with vegetables in water, keep that water and add it to soup stocks or things like that. So we're going to make a cauliflower steak out of this. And we're going to marinate it a little and then dip it in a breading and then pop it in our air fryer. Okay? If you don't have an air fryer, but you have a convection oven or even just a straight oven, you can do the same dish. Now, the anatomy of the cauliflower is that it's got a big stem part in the middle and then the florets radiate off of the stem. So what we're going to do is we go about halfway and then I put my finger and go to the other side of that finger. And that's where I'm going to make my first cut. Okay, keep all the little pieces because they make really, really great cauliflower rice to make a fried rice. And you go out about maybe three quarters of an inch. And you cut a beautiful cauliflower steak. Now, we could probably cut another one out of here. Just like that. There's two beautiful cauliflower steaks. And again, you want to keep all of these pieces because these are great florets that can be used in a stir fry or in another dish. Or you can easily just break them up in your food processor and um, end up with cauliflower rice. Now, I know the rice people don't like cauliflower rice being referred to as rice. Um, but it's a low carb version of rice. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a pan like this and we're going to put our cauliflower on top. And we've made a marinade. And the marinade is avocado oil, or you could use coconut oil. It's got some tamari, it's got a little uh, liquid um, coconut aminos. It's got some agave or maple syrup. It's got a little balsamic vinegar in there. Our recipe is going to be on the website. And all we're going to do is we're going to drizzle this all over the top of the cauliflower. Okay. And you can do that on, on both things. Just make sure you've got a big enough pan. And make sure it gets in all the little nooks and crannies here. Okay. Now, once that's done, you're going to let that sit for 15 to 20 minutes. And let it just marinate and add some beautiful flavor. You might want to turn it over partway through and just let it marinate. Now, the other one, if you don't want to use the marinate, you could possibly steam that in the microwave for about maybe two to three minutes just to kind of break it down just a little. But I'm going to show you a little trick that we're going to do in our air fryer that saves that step. If you open up your air fryer, depending on the size of your air fryer, this is a six quart. You'll notice that over in the corner, I've got a little tray of hot water. You want to make sure the water is very, very hot or boiling when you put it in. Otherwise, it won't be as effective. And what it's going to do, it's going to create a steam environment in this setup. Now, let's put that back in because we've just pre-warmed it. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the breading that we're going to use. So the breading is chickpea flour. 
It's got some, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. It's got some nutritional yeast, nooch. Um, you could use regular flour, but what I'm trying to do is do gluten-free as well. Okay, but this will be a breading that we're going to put onto the cauliflower. Now, we have to imagine this is marinated for at least 15 minutes. And we're just going to pop that in there and pour the flour and the other ingredients over the cauliflower. All right. And we're going to bread it, but without any gluten or bread. All right. Shake off the excess. And let me remove one glove here. We're going to take out our basket. And we're going to put this in to our basket like that. Okay, let's see if we can fit the second one. I think we could fit the second one in. So we're going to take this, give it a little bit of a rub with the oil and the herbs and spices. Let's take a brush. Let's add a little bit extra here. Now, this would normally marinate, but... For the sake of TV here, you know that we will have marinated this for about 15 minutes. Okay, And again, we take that out into the flour and we bread it. Just like that. Now, you can add some Parmesan if you like to that. Um, I've got some vegan Parmesan, but I like to do that right at the very end so it doesn't burn it up. Okay? And we're going to add those two steaks to our pan. All right. And we're going to pop that in the air fryer. And we're going to set the temperature now to 375 degrees. or 380 degrees, and we're going to do it for 20 minutes. And we'll come back and check on it halfway through. So our cauliflower steaks are done. They were at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. I turned them and gave them another five minutes. Okay. Now, I'm looking for a nice char on the cauliflower steaks because that's where all the caramelization is going to be and that's where all the flavor is going to be. I've just got a simple avocado and spinach and cashew salad and I could put a little lime juice or lemon juice or a little balsamic vinegar as my dressing. Stay away from the bottled dressings as much as you can. Um, again, they're a hidden source of sodium but also have a lot of things that are put in them for shelf life and to make them last longer. Uh, lemon juice, lime juice, or balsamic vinegar is just the best way to go. Now, look at these gorgeous steaks. They are absolutely gorgeous. And the best part is that little part that's left in the bottom of the fryer. Oh, so sweet and so gentle. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, again, cauliflower steaks, so simple, easy to make. And the leftover cauliflower you can always use in a stir fry or any other thing that you've got. Please enjoy. I'm Chef Paul.